when I last saw the upper five, it was that very strange morning when we had to say a very, very hurried goodbye. And I will never forget some of those goodbyes, girls, just as I will never forget how closely we have all worked together in all the years you have been with us. Some of you are moving on to new pastures and we send you with love and good luck in all you do. You will always be Augustinians. I'm really excited about those of you who are staying. You join an incredible group of lower sixth girls. We are going to have an amazing year. But in the meantime, I'm really looking forward to seeing you in person so that we can mark everything you've achieved and everything you are. I've taught many of you over the years. I've sat with you. We have had many, many funny experiences and we've shared great sadness as well together. So you have our love at this moment and we can't wait to see you properly to mark this really important rite of passage into sixth form with you. Hi everyone and welcome to our Upper Five Leavers Assembly. Obviously it's a bit of a shame we can't all be together right now, but here we are. I think it's safe to say that a lot has happened for Upper Five in the last few years, from smashed windows to Gossip Gustin and travelling all around the globe, Valencia, Paris, Iceland, where we stayed in that really creepy haunted motel anyway and even events like Eleanor rugby tackling Eliza in one of our competitive rounders matches which was interesting but yeah despite all these things I think we would all agree that the most important thing that has happened is we've all really developed as people and found ourselves and obviously I know some of you are going to be thinking how cringy that sounds but it is true St Augustine's has really shaped us as people because some of us have even been here since reception in prep one so that's 12 years which I realised means that some of us have been at this school since before even some of this year's form threes have been alive which I thought was pretty cool so some of us have been here for 12 years some of us have been here for two years or less but that hasn't changed or impacted how we've come together as a family and that is like what I'm gonna miss the most probably is how close we've all become and you know obviously we've had our quarrels and fallings out and stuff but that's just part of being a family you know um I think that's something we're all gonna really miss um but we're also gonna really miss all of our amazing teachers from Mrs Keane and Mrs Costello in the preps to all of our teachers that we have now you know who you are you are amazing and we want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts for everything you do for us because we know how hard you work and we know how much of your time you invest into helping us and we really hope that we have made you proud and we can prove to you that all of your hard work has paid off by hopefully Ofqual letting us have the grades that we deserve and that you deserve because you're the ones who have put in all your hard work to get us where we are today. And uh, hopefully for those of us who are leaving, we'll get to say a proper goodbye to you sometime in September or something. Hopefully we'll have a farewell party where we can say goodbye to our Upper Five family. So now I will pass you on to some of my classmates and yeah. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Do not forget my teaching. But keep my commands in your heart, for they will prolong your life many years and bring you peace and prosperity. Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write on them the tablet of your heart. Then you will win favour and a good name in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him and he will make your path straight. Blessed are those who find wisdom, those who gain understanding. Blessed are those who find wisdom, those who gain understanding. For she is more profitable than silver, and yields better returns than gold. She is more precious than rubies, nothing you could desire can compare with her. 
Long life is in her right hand, in her left hand are riches and honour. Her ways are pleasant ways, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to those who take hold of her, those who hold her fast will be blessed. Do not let wisdom and understanding out of your sight. Preserve sound judgment and discretion. They will be life for you, an ornament to grace your neck. Then you will go on your way in safety and your foot will not stumble. Let us listen to the words of the Gospel of John. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, to lie down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command. I no longer call you servants, because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I've called you friends. For everything that I've learned from my father, I've made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. And so whatever you ask in my name, the father will give you. This is my command, love each other. When you say thanks, you grow a little. Thanks is like food for the heart and soul. We're thankful for a compliment, for help with study, for encouragement, for advice with a problem, for good friendships, for fun and laughter. When we're grateful, we know we depend on others for most of the good things in life and we can't do it alone. Think for a moment of something you're grateful for or someone you feel gratitude towards and allow yourself to feel thanks. Think of your thanks to God. Maybe you are grateful for your health, your family, your friends, your faith, your gifts and talents, and above all, yourself. Be grateful for this moment, for who you are, for your friendships in life, and for the faith you have in God. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind always be at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. God, our Father, our life is blessed with many good gifts. Make us truly thankful for the gifts of our own personalities, for the gift of people who guide us and help us to grow, especially the teachers in our school. May we be your presence in the world in how we relate to others and on all we say and do. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.